All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Bochi, Bochi the, the Rock, Rock episode nine. nine. They had a concert. They did. And it, it went great. So good. Bochi, it you did so good. good. You did real good. You did really good. Mm -hmm. The post uh, concert hangout and mm -hmm. uh, it was pretty great. Drinking and eating and stuff like that was wonderful. Yep. Um, we now uh, officially do have, apparently, actually, the drunk sensei yes. uh, girl's name, mm -hmm. uh, Kikuri Hiroi. Mm -hmm. That was um, passed along to us, but I mean, let's yeah. be real. She's drunk we sensei. Yeah. Yes, we were obviously drunk and just, you know. That's on right. Her Drunk on her energy. Energy, exactly. Yep. But uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, Bochi's Bochi's secret is out. out. You are Guitar Hero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she could tell specifically because of how you played. Yeah. Even though she suspected it a little bit beforehand, you confirmed it tonight, showing how awesome you were, Bochi, yes. out there on stage. Because you were. Because you were. And that's yeah. really just cool to see that Bochi is not just the, uh, uh, I'm so nervous, I can't do anything. It's the, no, 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 no. You are you are that, and you're growing, and right. you're changing. You're a real rocker. You're a real rocker. Yeah. And don't you, love you. Yep, I'm proud I'm of you. So proud of you. It mm -hmm. was amazing. Yep. So, yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> ah, a, a middle. middle. <laughs> <laughs> a little. <laughs> Next day already. Yep. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is her enjoying it to its fullest, you know? Yeah. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, this whole reality. Yeah. Go to the beach or something. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh huh. That's true. <laughs> Those are the only three places you can think of. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Get the Making group a leader phone on call is too, oh, it's too real. <laughs> oh my god. Putting it off till nighttime, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Nope. That's, that's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Uh. uh. I'm <laughs> stops here. <laughs> yep. The other day, Lower lying around really funny. Wow. Damn. Bye bye, summer vacation. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, summer break. I've had that once after moving, where it's like, wait, I made a couple new friends. They'll probably invite me to things, but because they just recently moved, they weren't that close yet, so. Mm -hmm. Nope. Only ended up working over the summer. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good point. I never really thought about that. I don't think I ever had that kind of situation as, like, as this, because... Mm -hmm. Oh, she, oh. Uh... It was always just summer job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's not right. Me. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> She's scaring off customers. customers yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Very well. Hmm. 
She's your friend. I'm just... Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Trying to be considerate. <laughs> I was just having fun by myself. Yep. Nobody. <laughs> Wait, what's this now? <laughs> yes! What about the practice then? <laughs> Shut up, Rio. Yeah. Oh. Nice, nice transition. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so we can watch the sun set on the mm -hmm. last day of summer. Forever! She said it in English! <laughs> oh my god. Ah, right. Ah. Army carry, go. <laughs> Let's zoom in. She's unconscious, it'll be easy. Just grab the arm and roll. Uh, yeah, a lot of people just don't, don't get what it's like when you have like extreme anxiety. School is like the worst. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just she says so proudly. <laughs> it's super effective. Yep. Ah. Unforgivable. Yep. <laughs> Empty. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Yes. What are you seeing? Yeah. Black holes. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> Hey, at least it was passed around, though, you know? <laughs> wait, wait, no! Stay with the group! Okay, just bring it back here, yeah. An actual zombie. Oh, I think this is the oh. same beach shot they use for uh, My Dress Up Darling. Like, this is the, oh. same, the same beach location, you know? Because mm -hmm. I believe the locations were both, like, actual places. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> this music. And he's got the star glasses just like you do. Uh, <laughs> I am now one dimensional. Yep. Yes. <laughs> the little like! <laughs> oh, ooh, that looks tasty. What, what is that? Apparently, it's called Asahi. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, it's that's, press takayaki? That's really cool. Oh, yes. Oh, takayaki is so good. Hey. Oh, she's, that's a good photo. Yeah, she's not actively glum. Yeah. <laughs> the glow on the image. Oh. <laughs> we still have a lot of day left. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Exercise? Wait. Oh boy. Oh no. And for someone who stays in their room all day. 
Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I knew Kito was best <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah, Ryo's just like, Kito nah. I knew was best girl. Uh -uh. <laughs> I, I, mm, Ryo, you're me. Yeah. The <laughs> Kitora <laughs> is so powerful. Hmm. Ah, her limiters are gone. <laughs> Running up the steps where they're like, uh, uh, uh. We're losing the aura passive boost. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Stingy Rio is like, I what do I make do? It cost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she's gonna sell her guitars? No. <laughs> she was just carrying those with her this whole time. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> she lied as easily as she breathed. Yeah, yeah uh huh. I've been discovered. <laughs> Oh! Oh! How cruel! Back to eating grass. Yeah. Oh, the backgrounds are just real. Yeah. They're just actually real. Right? Oh. <laughs> when has that happened before? Oh. Oh. Bochi suggests it? What? <laughs> Tropical love! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> 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 what? <laughs> Rio? <laughs> Power tripping. Yep. Now I see what it is. Rio to be recently like uh, watched Simpo Gear. <laughs> oh, no. Humanity. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Let's blow it. Wow. Poor Kita, no! Oh! Oh, Kita! My heart breaks for you. Wait, but aren't you broke right now? Yeah, 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 how would you oh pay Oh my god. Oh my god. Fireworks. Yeah, 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 food, food. They should be hungry at this point. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me! No! This day has ended! They spotted the weak one. Yeah! Yep, yep uh huh. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. That's a nice little Dragon Ball Z reference right there. She's in a Krillin position. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, the weak one. Mm -hmm. I wonder what their persona is like. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Rio, you'll pay me back for yeah, your yeah, wish, yeah, right? yeah, I was waiting for it. Yeah, you've got a band. Yep, I was wishing that you guys would actually pay me back. Oh. she was wishing for more days like this. Mm -hmm. <gasps> no! No! It's okay. <laughs> Gotta be careful wishing for summer to never end, Bochi. Yeah. <laughs> Rio's falling asleep. God damn it, that was a good yard. Jacob, what the fuck? <laughs> damn it. It was a uh. Now I'm hungry too. Yeah, I know. Anytime I hear takoyaki or ramen mentioned in anime, I'm like, damn it. There's, no, a, dumpling. There's a dumpling place nearby that I've got to take you to. Like, really good Chinese dumplings. So good. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, not every day, <laughs> but, but, but like, but like, the invitation is appreciated, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, now these two get to have some one-on-one -on -one yeah. time. Yeah, y'all are y'all are great. Probably. Probably. <laughs> you never know. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. It didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. See, it's her social battery so drained, all that walking up the stairs, you know. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> you died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ooh, 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 hell oh, yeah. Hell festival yeah. Festival stage performers? All right. Yes. I will say though, I was surprised at the end there in the in the train uh -huh. when they were like, you know, riding the train and Ryo and Nichika fell asleep. Right. I was expecting Kita to just like get up, slide Nichika to the side, and then like <laughs> cozy up next to Ryo and be like, oh yes. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm I'm still of the opinion that Kita is best girl. Yeah. But drunk sensei exists. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, man. But that's not that's not the point. Is this is this based on the like the ah who's the person that you would want to basically bust into your life? You're like no 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 like extrovert. That's no, like, no no hey, no let's no go. no. It has nothing to do with that. It's 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 the it's the element of like in this show. Who do I kind of like 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 relate to probably the most, but also like feel like is like the most powerful like in the meta, you know of this show, you know? I, mean, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But, like, in a lot of ways, because she's not in the band, mm -hmm. I feel like she can't be, like, number one. No, that that's that's definitely true. I, I, I also feel like Kita has actual, like, set up really well, like, some cool... The, the show has set up some really cool character development for her. Oh, sure. Yes. All right, we got ourselves the anxious Bochi yep. getting one day of summer break. Right, before with wishing friends. for it all to reset. Yes. It's a dangerous a territory, yes. Bochi. Uh, just, you know. I, there's so many references in this anime in general. That oh, was yeah. one of the ones where I immediately like turned uh -oh. to look at you like, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> and you were like, mm -mm, no, 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 you don't want that. No, nope. <laughs> we've seen how that goes. Just all the rest of the episodes of the show are just this episode repeated over and over again, reanimated. <laughs> And then you just, that's what Bochi's headspace was at while she's mm -hmm. in school. She's so disassociated yep. at school that's right. that she's just thinking back to that one day where things were great. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Bochi is a, a very understandable and relatable character. But I think one of the things I liked the most about this was how her friends kind of failed her in this instance, even though it's not their responsibility right. to do this stuff for Bochi. Yep. It's a very realistic situation of something where both parties kind of bungled things, and mm -hmm. it's okay because it's neither their fault and it's all their fault. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a really fun, relatable situation for a mm -hmm. relatable main character to have to go through. Exactly, yes. Because, yeah. you know, when you're young and you're like, oh yeah, even if you have friends and stuff, like actually like Setting up time. Setting up times and yep. making things happen. It's like, oh, wait, oh, hang that's on. That's slightly inconvenient, so right. it just doesn't happen. Nope. Yep. Nope. And also, they're uh, younger. They're in high mm -hmm. school, so there's a very clear, like, immaturity angle involved there. I also very much don't buy as well that Nijika especially was, like, yeah, completely that... out of time. No, I... you're not working or practicing or cleaning all the time. Cleaning is about as... That's about as... That's about yeah. as generic of an excuse as it gets. Yep. And that she's the leader. She kind of has the least um Yeah, I think excuse. that was But that, Rio was the great like, no 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 no, I That's your job. That, <laughs> I, like, I, I I very much just passed the buck. Like mm -hmm. whereas Kita had the whole thing of no no, I, I genuinely had it 
lived. I had an amazing summer break. Mm -hmm. I spent it with tons of friends. Yep, because I have I a billion friends and very tightly yeah. packed schedule. And, and I didn't want to put Bochi into an awkward situation where she's the third wheel in my friend hangouts. Like, yeah, that's, that's very that's fair. relatable. That's I, fair. I feel like there's a couple groups that I know specifically where mm -hmm. I am the introvert of the group. Gotcha. And it's a it's a very like it's a very specific dynamic where I'm like, okay, cool. I'm friends with two people here, mm -hmm. you know. There are nine people in the group, right? You know. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was exactly. going to say, like, oh, introverted the group. So you're talking, like, a group of, like, four people, you know. And No, it's where I'm I'm wow. specifically the one that's, like, invited for those kinds of things. And I slowly but surely get one-on-one -on -one conversations with one of the seven. Mm -hmm. And that I, you know, to, to try and, like, get into the group a little bit more. And, and it's always fun because I can never really keep up with the, the full group. Right. But, um yeah it's, See, a, it's that, a yeah it's a very like relatable thing to be like oh hey, yes i am not uh i do not have the talent of conversing easily, easily with, with people, people i've never met, met before. before right yeah <laughs> perhaps you should take your answer advice and practice yeah. yeah it's it i i relate to a lot of the stuff that's happening here mm -hmm. My my approach to a lot of this stuff growing up was to just be Rio as be, Rio as best as possible. But the thing is, is that even Rio is is an uh, idealized state. Because oh, even then, Rio is hanging out with them constantly. Yeah. So right. so so she does actually enjoy hanging out with them yeah. and all that stuff, right? But it's the oh, she's also figured out a way to hang out on her own. But like, mm -hmm. I always found myself being in those situations where it's the I would still like to hang out with people, mm -hmm. but. If I'm not, I'll be okay. But like, right. but it would be nice. All the extroverts just started crying a little bit. Like, that is so sad and traumatizing. <laughs> and we're like, well, uh, not really. But served, I, served me well during quarantine. You know, like, Oh my gosh, yeah, quarantine was hilarious. Oh. So many people I know went actually nuts just because mm -hmm. they couldn't. Right, extroverts people. forced into the, the life of an introvert. We're like, yes, all my training has prepared mm -hmm. me for this moment. Yep. But summer specifically being one that, yeah, I kind of had in some ways the uh, Nijika kind of life mm. with regards to summer. Yep. Worked tons of summer jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, never, never really did vacation stuff specifically in my teen years. Uh, there were a couple times where uh, have like some some extra like focus on kind of initiating with friends and kind of mm -hmm. building building relationships then but a lot of that was more like you know you get a summer crush or you get like right you know uh someone that you didn't expect to be you know in your kind of circle during summer and you're like oh cool so let's just hang out a bunch and then you kind of focus on the one or two people maybe yeah but never really had the like it's summer so let's do the group party hangout things like right usually when usually when that, that kind of stuff would end up happening because i was in a yeah. similar situation you know summer job and all that stuff yeah that just meant that there were extra shifts i could take you yep. know and it's like yep. hey True. each each shift that's you know this many additional dollars in in my bank account yeah, yeah i'll take and it if i'm talking to 200 people a day at a summer job <laughs> might be why, a bit social why, why would i want to talk to another five or ten people mm -hmm. you know yep my like if I were my my situation in this was basically Nijika, but instead of like cleaning or whatever when not like working, it was the no, I'm reading when I'm not working. Like I have reading. I have a list of books that I'm getting through. Yeah. And then I'm working writing. and then I'm reading. And that's it. Maybe some like T V shows sure. or something. Yeah. Maybe some just general like outdoor stuff. Then, then maybe some friends. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like it's, it's like third, fourth, or maybe fifth down on that tier Hiking, list. Swimming. Yeah. I yeah. did a lot of group hikes and stuff. That was probably the main thing. I had a I had a hiking group in summertime that I remember. That was probably the best time I had as like a group of friends mm -hmm. where there was very much like a, okay, cool. There's like 15 of us and we can only ever really get six to eight of us to go at a time because of schedules and stuff and sure. everything. But I remember there was a point where I'm very much like um, like Kita in that regard where it's the, oh, going and like exercising and working to see a site together and stuff like that was the best because as an introvert, what would end up happening is if you go hiking, 
there's people that just stop talking once they're in the hike because uh -huh. they get so tired they can't they don't want to waste air they can't yeah. waste their breath on mm -hmm. talking yep. and so what would happen for me is as my stamina would go up I would get into this position where I felt like I I had I had a really good sense of control where I would be like oh I can talk mm -hmm. because there's not going to be this like verbal assault of like 15 <laughs> people that are going to jump down my res you know and respond to me and then I don't have to manage you know four conversations gotcha. at the same time. So it would be great where I would be one of the three people in the group of six or eight that would actually be capable of talking. See, and that's my my situation with that was always the cool I have an excuse to not say to anything. To not talk. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. I can just vibe with people and be like, yeah, we're, we're getting some quality time, mm -hmm. but no words are being exchanged no. until we're actually at the top. And then we're resting. Right. right. So there's maybe a little bit of talking, but right. not much. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. Some, of, some of the best hikes are those ones where you can just kind of zone out and mm -hmm. enjoy the ascent for not just the, um, the, energizing of the exercise kind of thing because that is a thing even if you're oh, yeah. tired by it and stuff there is a there is kind of a little bit of a high you get from that yes but the endorphins from exercise are very real are very real but the other part is the solitude in the quiet not the literal physical solitude in that you can't see anybody or nothing else around you but it's the oh right 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 we're quiet together mm -hmm. and then every once in a while you have the people that are like me that pull out their Spotify offline mode that are just like, yeah. hey guys, I got my playlist. And they're like, Caleb, there's nature here. And I'm like, fine, I'll turn it off. <laughs> and then I'll talk about like the feeling of seeing a plane up in the sky and being right. like, Realizing do you ever how wonder, small you are. Do you ever wonder like how many main characters in other life video games are up in that tiny speck up in the sky? And they're like, Caleb, stop philosophizing about like just random shit. Yes, of course we felt that. And I'm like, but isn't that cool? Like the idea, and then they're like, "You didn't hear anything we said." Yep, and yep. I'm like, "Nope, nope, nope, not at all." It was good times. So yeah, I, I very much see Kita as best girl. There's an element of myself I see in her, but also just the, I also think that there's something about Kita that is, not in the, she's not Nijika in that she has a true kind of, kind of confident leader extrovert energy. She very much has the I you know, recharge by being around people and stuff kind of mm -hmm. thing. But I also see another element of her where it's the, oh, she's actually just competent in this sphere of things. So she feels confident to go and act in them. But that doesn't necessarily mean that she's an extrovert. Well, and, and that doesn't mean that she has like, you know, sort of all her shit figured out, right? right. There's still plenty of ways in which she has insecurities and things mm -hmm. like that and whatnot. So it's, it, it definitely makes her more, more promising and interesting from a character drama perspective than getting... you would traditionally expect from the extrovert in a the... show about an yeah. introvert. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, the Genki extrovert girl. So, mm -hmm. so I, I, yeah, and also I, I just, I love the Genki girls in general. In Genki girls are definitely underrated. They are, they are, they are underrated, and they are off meta, and I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. But yep. I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll build that deck and run it all the way to the end game. But wow, yeah, and great, everything that he said about about uh, uh, drunkard <laughs> characters. I don't know. I think she's kind of on meta. She even has the fucking fang. Like, like. I mean, that just means the person who made the show knows what they're doing. I know, <laughs> like, I know. But I would say that on just if they didn't even speak, if you just saw a frozen image of them, a lot of people would be like a tier waifu, <laughs> just just right there. <laughs> That's and fair. Call me call me pretentious, but I, I see that as like ugh, I'm challenged now to find you know where mm -hmm. where's where's my S tier waifu in here you know yeah the best girl and I I, I love Kita Kita's adorable Kita is wonderful also yep. Kita's fucking in love with Rio and showed multiple times in this episode mm -hmm. and Rio is shown to be just horrible like oh yes Rio's Rio kind of a worse girl in this instance here oh, absolutely and, and maybe it's just me because I really don't like people that borrow money and don't pay you back oh no it, that's that like that in the way it's being framed in the show is entirely as the it's, it's not funny. a bug it's a feature right yeah, you know yeah. like yeah but but it's 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 the angle of like, no, no, no. I would confront Rio so hard uh -huh. on Bochi's behalf, even yes. if it wasn't me. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, you know, oh. um, I'm not going to let you, like, you know, borrow yeah, money from that's them not anymore. Cool. This is really just not fair mm -hmm. or cool. Yep. 
Yep. So, and also the fact that she comes from a rich family. So right. It so feels it's extra yeah, wrong. Right. It's, it is literally just a thing of she doesn't want to. Not at all yep. that she can't or anything like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 But, uh, okay. School has started. Mm-hmm. Um, we have ourselves the Shuka Festival yep. for October 1st and 2nd. And uh, we got a fully detailed uh, little bit here with an uh, application deadline. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be in the high school gym, mm-hmm. which means that we could have like a full on, you know, uh, Haruhi God knows type situation. Yeah. Like where it's just not that that's the only one that's done, you know, the school festival and all of that course, stuff. Of course, of course. Right? This is common. Y- yes, every exactly. High school anime. But like, but like having the thing where, yes, they did the concert, but now let's do the thing at the school, you right. know, where, where Bochi will be able to like say show off in front of a bunch of other people that don't necessarily mm-hmm. know her that well and be like, yeah, I'm the cool rocker. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also just really like the way in which Bochi came all the way around to having a really good time. And even though it was supplanted for or you know subverted for a joke of ah you know she's already depressed again and not Mm -hmm. wanting to do school that day was really special and the fact that she then had the energy to engage with kita Mm -hmm. afterwards felt like a really sweet reward for not just kita who kind of was starting to feel like she had kind of made a mistake by Mm -hmm. pushing all these things that she's very into but you know, yep. they weren't as much into. No, it meant a lot to Bochi. Right, so, and even with the whole switcheroo job. of the joke at the end, that mm-hmm. wasn't actually be because that wasn't because of her mental state. Correct. It's because physically she was miserable. I mean, right? yes, yes, that's that's you know ninety percent. So so it. yes. so it's the oh, okay yeah. It was still a great day. It's just oh that's oh, right. I'm sore. I, yeah, I I'm not used to this. I don't do this. I would never do that of my own volition. Mm-hmm. And now. Oh fuck! I have to deal with the consequences. Right, and that's 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 fun. The, yeah. the going out of your own comfort zone, but then also a way for Akita to once at school, it can kind of be like, mm-hmm. oh, Pochi, yeah, that's yeah. that's what you're feeling right now. Don't worry, I felt that too. It's mm-hmm. it's a, it's a whole thing. Yep. No, I I also just particularly really felt nostalgic about the hiking up, you know, to see a great view and stuff like mm-hmm. that with friends, and I was just like, oh. Yeah, in the oh, area no, we live in, that's like hiking is one of the main things that people do here. Right, it's 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 plentiful the amount of like mountains and stuff like that, so you can get yes. to like some really cool places and see water, see snow, all, all that jazz. But yeah. uh, all right, yeah, yeah, let's get prepped for another performance this mm-hmm. time in front of peers, right, and also peers that go to your school mm-hmm. so so it's not just going to be a one and done thing yeah. uh-huh. it'll actually be something where they'll remember like oh you're the the rocker girl mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and also it's going to be cool because they'll bring people from outside the school like Rio and uh, Nijika mm-hmm. to be like oh this is your school yep. and then they'll get to talk up Bochi exactly. if people come afterwards and be like who was that, you know, on right. the guitar? I don't even know if I know her. Yeah. And then, <laughs> She's just been, like, invisible, right? Right, right. Or it's the, is that Bochi? And it's like, yeah, yeah Bochi's awesome. Well, and if you think about it, not only is that a, a potential cool thing, mm-hmm. but it's also, that could be a way that it's the uh, the biggest challenge yet. Yes. Because if you think about social anxiety, there's uh-huh. social anxiety in front of strangers, right? Yes. And that's, and that's, that's its own thing, and that is, and that is still tough. But then there's social anxiety in front of the people that might know you, right? Mm-hmm. Where it's the, there's going to be lasting consequences from yep. this, you know? Like a lot of people can talk to a thousand strangers on stage if they know that no mm-hmm. one out there actually knows them because then they don't oh, have to yeah. worry about inconsistencies and no, straight displaying up. who they are. One of the things that I have, I have like lay in bed like thinking about many a time is the ah oh, yes we do this youtube channel and all that right stuff. right but i still suffer from really bad social anxiety when i'm like in front of like regular people like in like in my actual yeah, real you just, life you just you just forget yeah you just forget how many people could theoretically be watching this it's yep, okay exactly exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah and also none of you guys know us of course no so. right but that's so, so just even though no, it's no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying that as a meme because there's clearly people that watch this that oh. actually know us but <laughs> huh, it's the thing right. of like oh no <laughs> yeah no our grandma doesn't watch any of our videos she would be she would be horrified if she found any of our videos no 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 
<laughs> but oh my god y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get an early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out my persona 5 royal uh, let's play on twitch right now yeah. but yeah if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of san sanity and i'm caleb <laughs> i'm jacob and we'll see you all on next time. Yes.